From the seeds of a common weed to one of the most complex trapping mechanisms in the natural world, here are nine carnivorous plants you will want to stay away from. Before we begin, be sure to subscribe to They Will Kill You. Hit the like button and request any topics you'd like to learn about in the comments section below. Number 9. Capsella bursa pastoris. Capsella bursa pastoris, better known as Shepherd's Purse, is the second most common weed on the planet. Even though it's native to Asia Minor and Eastern Europe, it has been naturalized in many other parts of the world, particularly in regions with colder climates. It's suspected that Capsella bursa pastoris is a protocarnivorous plant. What this means is that even though it traps and kills insects or other animals, it lacks the necessary adaptations to absorb nutrients from them, like carnivorous plants. The suspicion arose from observing the plant's seeds, which contain a substance called mucilage. When wet, mucilage becomes sticky, and some have proposed that this is an adaptation for trapping insects. Mosquito larvae were extremely attracted to the seeds and died soon after becoming trapped, seemingly providing the seeds with nutrients. Number 8. Genlacy Genlacy are carnivorous corkscrew plants which can be found in wet terrestrial and semi-aquatic environments throughout South America, Central America and Africa. The underground leaves of the Genlacy are very different from their photosynthetic leaves, which are located above ground. Aside from performing the duties of roots, like anchoring the plant or absorbing water, these highly modified leaves are also used to attract, trap and digest small organisms. They form hollow tubes, which are easy to enter but almost impossible to escape. The tubes bifurcate into spirals resembling corkscrews, which are lined with inward pointing hairs. Once protozoans reach a certain part of the tube, they'll be digested and absorbed. Number 7. Darlingtonia californica Darlingtonia californica, or the cobra lily, is the only member of the Darlingtonia genus is found in bogs and seeps with cold running water in Oregon and Northern California. The plant somewhat resembles a rearing cobra because of its tubular leaves and its forked leaf. Unlike other American pitcher plants, Darlingtonia californica does not trap water inside the pitcher. Instead, it regulates the water levels inside by absorbing or releasing the water that's been pumped up from the roots. Once an insect enters the balloon-like tubular leaves, slippery walls and hairs prevent it from escaping. Darlingtonia californica hides the tiny exit hole by curling it underneath. The light speckles that shine through the leaves effectively act as false exits. As the insect tires out, it will fall down into the trap and subsequently be broken down by digestive enzymes and absorbed as nutrients. Number 6. Biblis. In bright sunshine, Biblis leaves gain an attractive multicolored appearance, which is why they're also known as rainbow plants. For a long time, their status as carnivorous plants was doubted. Glandular hairs cover the surface of their leaves, which secrete a thick, gluey substance from their tip. When insects touch the sticky secretions, they become trapped. Biblis has been observed hosting live bugs which feed on the insects that the plant traps. It was believed that the plants didn't digest on the food directly and relied on the bugs to do that. The assumption being they then absorbed the nutrients through their leaves from the bugs' excrements. However, in 2005 it was discovered that the plants also possessed sessile glands which produced the enzymes required for direct digestion. This discovery confirmed Biblis as true carnivorous plants. Number 5. Aldrovanda vesiculosa Over the last hundred years, there are only about 50 populations of Aldrovanda vesiculosa that have remained in the world. It is the world's most widely distributed carnivorous plant species spread across Africa, Australia, Europe and Asia. Also known as the water wheel plant, it tends to prefer clean, shallow, warm standing water with a slightly acidic pH level. Aldrovanda vesiculosa obtains the nutrients it needs by trapping small aquatic invertebrates. The free-floating stems, which give the plant its common name, consist of walls 
with lobes acting like snap traps. As prey comes into contact with the fine coating of sensory hairs inside the trap, the lobes will snap shut, trapping the invertebrate inside. It only takes 10 to 20 milliseconds for the trap to close, which makes it the fastest example of plant movement in the natural world. Long bristles which surround the traps ensure that they aren't triggered by debris in the water. In optimal conditions, the fast-growing Algevanda vesiculosa will produce a new wall every day. As one end of the stem continues to grow, the other will die off, ensuring that countless new plants can be produced in a short time frame. Number 4. Saracenia This genus of carnivorous plants is indigenous to southeastern Canada, Texas, and the Great Lakes area. Saracenia is a pitcher plant, which employs a pitfall trap. It doesn't use any mobbing parts to trap its prey. Its leaves have evolved into a funnel with a hood-like structure called operculum over the opening. The operculum prevents insects from escaping and protects the plant's digestive enzymes from mixing with rainwater. Insects are attracted by smell, color, and a nectar-like secretion on the lip of the pitcher. The waxy deposits on the lip make insects lose their footing and tumble inside the pitcher. In some Saracena species, the operculum features chlorophyll-free patches that act like translucent windows, which confuse insects. Some will try to fly through the operculum, which cause them to fall in the pitcher. Once an insect reaches past a certain point, escape becomes impossible. On the inside, the leaf is coated with ultra-fine downward pointing hairs, and the footing is non-existent. The pitcher is also studded with digestive glands that break down the insects caught inside. Number 3. Dracera With at least 194 confirmed species, Dracera is one of the largest carnivorous plant families on the planet, also known as the sundews. These plants come in different species, which greatly vary in size and form. Sundews can be found on every continent except Antarctica. Some display beautiful vivid colors and intricate rosette shapes. However, for the small insects that come into contact with them, these plants are quite deadly. All Dracera species have glandular tentacles covered with sticky secretions, which they can move whenever contact with edible prey is achieved. The trapping and digestion mechanism typically involves two types of glands. The stalked glands secrete sweet mucilage to attract and ensnare insects. They also hold the necessary enzymes for the digestion process. Drosera will bend their tentacles around the insect to bring it in contact with as many stalked glands as possible. Once trapped in a sticky mucilage, the insect usually dies from exhaustion or asphyxiation within 15 minutes. As the nutrients are broken down from the prey, they are absorbed through sessile glands. The tentacle movement is quite remarkable and it only takes the slightest contact for it to start bending towards the insect. Drosera capensis can curl its leaf completely around prey in about half an hour. Even though it doesn't exhibit the same range of motion, Drosera gianduligera will bend its tentacles in tenths of a second. Number 2. Utricularia The Utricularia genus contains approximately 233 species of carnivorous plants, collectively known as bladder warts. Except for Antarctica, bladder warts can be found in fresh water and wet soil all over the world. They occur as terrestrial or aquatic species, and their flowers, which are often compared to those of orchids and snapdragons, make Utricularia a sought-after addition for collectors of carnivorous plants. These plants use bladder-like traps to capture small organisms, while terrestrial species tend to have small traps and mainly feed on protosa and rotifers. The aquatic Utricularia own larger traps which they use to catch prey like water fleas, fish fry, or young tadpoles. Utricularia own one of the most sophisticated trapping structures in the plant kingdom, and the whole process of catching prey takes about 10 to 15 milliseconds. In aquatic species, once the bladder is set, it will be triggered as prey brushes up against its hairs connected to the trap door. The entrance consists of an oval flap connected by flexible cells which basically form a hinge. The bladder is under negative pressure in relation to the environment. Once the trapdoor is activated, the prey, along with the water surrounding it, is sucked inside. Number 1. Venus Flytrap 
Dione muscapula, also known as the Venus flytrap, is the world's most famous carnivorous plant. It's native to subtropical wetlands in North Carolina and South Carolina in the US. It owns an advanced and fascinating natural adaptation for trapping and killing its prey, which mainly consists of arachnids and insects. Diona muscapula is a small plant with four to seven leaves, growing out of a subterranean stem. The terminal lobes on each of the plant's leaves form a trapping structure that snaps shut when triggered. Minuscule sensory hairs on the inside surface act as the trigger mechanism. Once an insect makes contact with one of the hairs, the trap prepares to close. However, it will only snap shut if the contact is repeated within approximately 20 seconds. This way, the plant ensures that it will trap living creatures with nutritional value. Dione muscapula will snap on its prey in about a tenth of a second. The lobes are fringed by rigid thorn-like protrusions which mesh together once the plant closes. As the edges of the lobes fuse together, it creates an inescapable trap for anything unlucky enough to be caught inside. After the trap is hermetically sealed, a type of stomach is created in which digestion and absorption takes place. Thanks for watching. Which plant do you think has the most effective traps? Let us know in the comments section below.